starts now. Let's take a look at at her uh, her just general sort of fight style, and Stephanie can explain it. Then after that, we can kind of discuss that with Derek as well. All right, let's go. Sure. What we got? Strings. You can hear the, you can hear the claws. Some sort of. She has a couple moves. High string. Trip. Could it be a mid string. This is one of her fast mid strings, and it has a couple fast options. mid string. The second one is That's a crushing, crushing blow. blow if she ends the combo with more than eight hits, which is pretty easy to do. For That's her that thirty five percent for that. And she also has. Pretty much the core o overhead to is that overhead really quick overhead oh it's my light range oh it's safe my. it's safe yeah, it's awesome it's safe she does not have like a really like awesome low safe it's launcher it's safe it, or just do a low damage after you get sleep but i think that totally fits your play style is you you have to be the type of player that's willing to just do a low into the ball roll and just do a low and not worry if they're gonna and she's another it. crushing blow off this of that too to as a crushing blow if it's a counter hit and then she gets a combo which again goes into like kind of actually, a higher risk thing, but good damage with her hit. Actually, this is her four four, which I wanted to show because I think it's one of her better like mid attacks because it's really easy to hit him from. Thirteen percent for the throw now. The last thing I wanted to show yeah. was her throws because she has a similar crushing blow to Rambo, where if you spend ten seconds without jumping or getting hit, thirty she will uh, bite them in the neck, and it's very very gross and nasty. But again. You're Melina, so you haven't jumped in ten seconds. That's a that's a tall order. I'm playing Melina, guys. To, to I'm playing Melina. She's they're, gonna be strong. Never, for sure. We'll never get that. That safe that, overhead uh, doesn't even matter if it's a one we'll hit overhead. Like never. Never. Probably. if I wish Devora's overhead was safe, like uh, but yeah, I love the, the, the base doesn't base even matter if it's only seven percent. That shit is, is good for conditioning. Up close attacks and then and it's safe. Um, and it's quick. in gaps with uh, I believe it's her away one or away two where she does that lunge. So that just puts yep. her in place to get right on top of you. And she has a, a mid four, four, or I wish I had a mid with the away three, so you can mix up the highs or lows and then go into the ball and combo city. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. You know, her weapons She's gonna be good, guys. are not they're kind of outranged by like Jade's pole and stuff like that. They're not the, the greatest range in the world, but they're fast. She has mix ups, good mids, so you know, kind of mid range, she I has wish, to take a risk. So he says, I wish 4 4 is safe for Devora. Honestly, dude. Roll, Why is that shit like negative 16 and it's like 21 starter two. frames? But then once you get in, good damage, uh, good combos, good crushing blows. They should, they should make fast. it like, there's too many characters so in this game right now that have safe overhead options Luna players Luna. that I feel like Devora should yeah, just putting be safe as well. Because it's only a splat. I don't even get anything out of it. And no blocking. Who does that? There's just there's just no reason. Uh, Next up, let's take a look at uh, her default special moves. So this is what I mean by she's kind of okay. the classic move. The size. Side toss is back. Really fast. That's she 13% goes through a and takes up a ton for of that. Space. That's pretty good. Really great projectile. Ball roll, yeah. Ball roll is exactly what you expect to do. Super quick. It leads to commas, which amplifies it. Great with punisher. Punish of stuff that's like it's back on block, you know, all that kind of These stuff. These are all basic. And then the total so this has a cool new thing where she can amplify and she goes into a throw and you can choose which direction to throw, which is okay. pretty cool. You can throw them in the corner, then go for your pressure and okay, you, don't, okay. you don't have to get in again or throw them out of the corner. If you don't want to deal with that, you, you have a life beat, whatever. So it's, it's pretty much what you expect. She can zone and she can counter zone really well because it's pretty risky to throw a projectile when she has both teleport and, and roll. And she has the low yeah, side in probably I one can't variation. I agree more but... than that statement. It's Classic Molina. Classic Molina. Yep. So you're you're saying I just want to just reiterate something. When you do the teleport, if you if you amplify it, she it turns into a throw. Before she does her four, four. And you can For choose Devora, the direction yep. which you throw. Them. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. Super cool. So I think. Uh, did you ever play the Aura pre patch really way? When her overhead was like moves, it was like pretty much the Molina that. It was like 12 frames and like negative nine when, then her when it first came out. I think are where With pushback, you can make it safe. New versions of old moves and stuff like that. So you kind of determine which other play style you want to like focus on. And that's where there's like all the fresh new stuff, which <sighs> is pretty cool. Which we can like take a look. Oh, go ahead. Oh, is uh, we threw in like her classic MK3 combo as well, which oh, is just a yes. good throwback to Melina. Yeah, I so, I love that kind of stuff. It's the, the well, size. Let's take a look. The double kick, it's awesome. Let's take a look real quick then at variation one of Melina. 
So this one I think is a mobility. Duration research. one, okay. The first thing is she can do her saw in the air. Okay. It's great. She can amplify it to recover faster and get combos. The second thing is she can do the teleport in, in the air. In the air. And this is awesome for like eh. picking out jumping. And then lastly, she has a oh, low side bath from MKS. That's a big deal. One of my favorite projectiles. That's a big deal. And so variation one low, is the low side. If it goes under a, a high, so it's a crushing This really low. makes her mobility better, and then it makes her counter zoning easier. All right. Because she can jump over a projectile interesting. and uh, teleport. She can use the low side and go under highs. It also, you could actually use it for mix-ups too. Like you can mix up her overhead with it, her low side, mid-range, if you want to take a risk. So yeah, I think that's kind of, uh, you are happy with the way she plays, you just want better options for getting in, for like Tom. or stopping them from keeping you out, and then, you know, that's kind of the way you go. You get to play her up close game, so variation one, about their zoning, and the low side is like, I think the up, most uh, interesting thing about it, like the fact that you have the low side, other Actually, than that, really is up. really just... It's a like, neutral thing. You can control it doesn't seem like a, a super get out, fun so variation low profile, of to things. me. And then once yep. you see I, like, I want to I wanna teleport that, shenanigans. Teleport, I want to be sliding along the ground. I want to be stabbing. Yeah, I mean, that's... Hmm. I personally use the low Ed, Jason, Halen, Denver, thanks for the likes, guys. Exactly for that reason. Like, you... If you try to zone that version, I think you're probably going to have a bad day. Yeah. Can we real quick go back to something from a little earlier? Yeah, I saw that. I want a better explanation. That's actually for those crazy. Who younger, haven't played it. Can you tell me? Tell us a little bit more about the UMK3 combo. Which one is that? Go ahead. Vengeance oh, it's just Malik one of her combo strings. <laughs> it's two, three, three, four. I think it, it just looks pretty much like a new modern day version of one of her classic button combos. You want to be gliding across the screen in AK spawn? Pretty much, man. It's awesome. so funny. I'm telling you, spawns think, glides if, if with this cape, like, old, they're not like, good, but they're so it. fun when and you get old. shit going. And that's the good thing, Steven, too, about the, the studio. We have a lot of people in the studio who are who are old. locked into how the old games played, <laughs> old, uh, who uh, who just who know the lore super well and know how the old games used to play and whatnot, some of the, some of the earlier iterations of Mortal Kombat, so that, that's awesome to have Easter eggs for all ages of our fans. Super cool. Um, let's take a look at Variation 2. Let's. So variation 2, I think, is the opposite. I think it's a rushdown yep. variation. The first thing is she that. loses a roll, but she gains this brand new move. That Yo, that run? Which I think it's pretty awesome. That run? Super quick love. See, this one looks so much cooler. This is the type of shit she that I, I, I just gravitate towards, man. Like, uh, it looks so it sick. Amplify. And it actually has a double amplify. 15%? And you can also cancel it. Like you can For two bars? It down and then uh, just cancel it and not do the attack and go for a mix up. And this has a crushing blow. 15% for two bars, though? That's kind of ugly. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it. Then but... she also has a bunch of extra throws at the end of her string. I think she gets three of them. You can see her logo gets a new one. And I think so this what, one extra strings? definitely the coolest. She gets this grab at the end and it can actually re stand. Huh. And then she can get a pretty decent mix up. Okay, okay. And then and lastly, I... she gains a command grab. This move is freaking awesome looking. How is that not the coolest thing ever? Command grab. Question, My brother's going to want to play this variation. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at it too. Like Normally I don't play command grab variations, but. Down, oh, they're gonna do their mix -ups. KD for, for the roll. They're, they are definitely going to deal with their mix ups. And now they're blind. And now they're blind. <laughs> <laughs> I love every okay. time we show a new character, there's okay. always a variation. That so has, that's the one bio is going to probably be the same time. one. Because it, like, it has someone. a command grab. Well, I mean, maybe I could try more. Probably a high like, maybe command grab. Because that, that variation looks a high. right at my alley. With all the I, I might use time. that one, though. That one uh, looks the fun. The two-player two animation. Exeke and Yahaya. Thanks for the likes. Uh, awesome. There. You stay away from her, pal. You just stay away from her. Okay. No. Okay. All right. I get it. I get uh, it. I, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it on my own time. I, I would call that, like, basically the more savage, ra uh, ravenous version of Molina's for Variation 2. Um, and it's probably, I would say, probably my favorite as well. Because yeah. you're just rushing in, command like grabs, uh, the combos are flashy, and there's some uh, cool brutalities attached to a couple of them. I would think oh, so. Another thing is the command grab is her armor breaker. And if you use it that's on armor break, break, you get the crushing blow. So that's also oh, really good too. That's good. So you don't know. even need to to do the prerequisite if you catch on armor break. 
Right. And that also would complement the fact that it's like her rush down one. You try to break away. You don't want to deal with her stuff. And you yeah. get caught. Variation two. That right. one. Excellent. I don't, I don't uh, know if it's going to be her best one by any means, two, but right? it, looks, it looks more fun mm -hmm. than the first variation. Let's move on to number three. So number three, I was trying to think of a theme and pretty much came up with this one has kind of a, a cornucopia of more wow. stuff. First thing is she gets this special roll, which does extra damage and actually hops in the air so she can go over stuff. Then she gets invisibility, which is That's cool. a ton of fun. I mean, you can imagine, Melina's already all over the place. You literally can't even... And now you're going to be invisible rolling at them? And then lastly, she gets a brand new move, which is pretty interesting. She what? slides her side across the ground, and she can hold it and decide when she's going to lift it up. And then it'll come back down. So the opponent has to guess, are you going to delay it? Are you going to let it go really early? And then it has a crushing blow if it interrupts an opponent. So if they think you're going to delay it, and they try to just attack you out of it, mm. and you didn't delay it, you can go ahead and amplify it. It's going to hit them right in the noggin. Interesting. And that might... I think she she can probably get a combo off of that, right? All right. Uh, can we... Let's go back real quick to the invisibility, because the, the invisibility does have some stuff with it, too, correct? Like V1 looks does, like yeah. the strongest. Yeah. V1 looks like it's the yeah. most solid it variation, so I think. There are downsides to using it, but I think it's pretty worth it. Never mm -hmm. mind. Excellent. I don't and know. Then, that'd uh, be three so thing. The, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say yeah, the it looks all right. Slide. I'm not. I'm not like slide overly impressed by it. We'll see. Right. Yes. If you just yes. hold it, it will go to the opponent, and then it will know where they are. You don't have to do like a close, medium, or far, or whatever. So right. if they're full, right. you do have to hold it for a while. But yeah, it does track to where the opponent is. Interesting. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, I think that'll be really cool for setups. Like some of the creative players, I can already see, you know, some of the more creative players than me, like. Turning it invisible and then doing stuff with it. Weird stuff in the corner, all kind of fun stuff like that. It's hard to keep track of Molina as it is. And when she gets yeah. invisible, it get it just gets worse. <laughs> we don't know that. Maybe, maybe uh, set up potential. We, we showed it earlier, but let's, let's go back again. We just like reshowing these things so you guys can get a clean view of it. Mm. Um, let's take a look real quickly at her fatal blow, which it's damn near a fatality. Pretty much. And also, yes. the into attack is pretty awesome because it's got really good range. I can't believe they still haven't it's added uh, uh, brutalities yep. off of fatal blows. Like, are they going to add that in this patch? Because, like, this could easily be a brutality. I would like if they would do that like they did in MKX for multiple characters off their x rays. Nana says, which variation will you use? Right now, the second one looks the most appealing mm -hmm. to me. Awesome. Fun-wise. Uh, we, have, we have a couple special things to show with Melina, because we know that everyone's really excited to see Melina. It's been a... You know, I've been getting but I'm also still week. interested in Rambo's crawling about, about Melina, So we're, also, we're going to show a brutality. We're also going to show a friendship later, too. So you might want to close your eyes if you don't want to be spoiled. Ooh, but friendship. let's quickly show the Melina brutality. All right. Throw brutality. Oh. How is that even pop? She puked? Your head will adorn my throne. How did she just eat that whole head in one bite? And then she puked. That's weird. Jade next to the light. UMK3. I'm There's beautiful shades of UMK3. See, I didn't really play it. It's Maybe you guys in the, in the chat know what they're referring to. But okay, and the okay. wind pose, classic wind pose. Oh yeah, of course. Always bringing it back. Uh, let's go and watch, let's take a look at the fatality one more time. Fatality one more time. The same, the same spinneroon. We've seen the spinneroon. That's a throwback. Yeah. I get. I guess it makes you know. They, they like to what do throwbacks. Cool we Unfortunately, I can't really appreciate the throwbacks awesome. like, like many others can. So great. Uh, we don't want to show every fatality day because I know you, you people, you, we're, we're going to mix that up a little bit. But you might see it for the before launch. We'll see. That's cool. Uh, but we do want to show something. This was De Derek. Derek was really into doing this. 
So we, we brought together today, we're going to show the first friendship we've shown. So we're going to show Melina's friendship. All right. Does she have katana come? Oh, <laughs> she has a tea party with a bear of herself, Katana and Jade. That's cool. Oh, no, pick her up, pick her up. Oh, oh. We will have a balance nice patch. Bear. There's a balance patch coming with uh, Ultimate uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, yes, there is. But we're not going to go too deep into the woods today. There's there's some stuff that when we do release the uh, the the patch notes, we will you'll be able to see it. That won't be right away. We won't be releasing those right away. So please don't tweet me every 15 minutes about where, where are the patch notes. They'll probably be released near Imagine to the end of the game if released. Work. It won't work. Imagine the days still fine. Hardcore players are going to be like, oh, fair enough. We'll be I think I told Honeybee, I think I told Honeybee, oh, was it Honeybee once or someone that like every time they asked me, I was going to move it back two hours. So uh, we were still working on finishing all that stuff up. So, you know, we're going to tell you a little bit about today. It probably won't be as much as, like, we're not going to tell you as much as you want to hear today. We're going to give you some really cool stuff. I have to say it. And I'm allowed to say this because I I understand. I was one of them once, and I haven't forgotten. What would you even do with that information if you had it now? (laughs) That is true. I get the excitement. So, but what we, we uh, I guess we're going to talk well, that's about. That's what I was talking about, the system war. System changes. Yeah, you mentioned me. Just kind of more, more of the stuff we're going to talk about. But I think we want to start with, like, sort of the big thing we kind of teased last week. I am 100 out of 10 excited. So, <laughs> the big change to the variation system is we are adding custom variations in Combat League and in tournament mode. You will be able to make your own variation and use them in ranked tournament. So what's the point of cus- of variations? Uh, there will be a UI thing now, which, shout out our UI team, they have to be like one of the big unsung heroes of a video game Customs? studio. They are constantly working on new stuff and weird technical things to get into the game. They, I mean, everyone is an unsung hero behind the scenes, but shout outs to them. Uh, well, it's one of those so things you, that where if wait, you I'm so notice confused. it, it's probably yes. done really well. I'm so confused. Yeah, when UI drives your game. You really think about Right. How is that going to work? So, and they're work? always asked to add these new situations and stuff. Anyway, when you pick your character, a little thing will come up with your variation, and now you can just go into custom, and it's kind of like the abilities screen. So you can go through it. The and, same rules apply uh, that you, you know, if a move conflicts, you can't do it. And uh, the slots. And then the one big thing is there's going to be a few moves that are actually banned from competitive play. There are some moves that I'll use the example uh, Terminator's Terminate move, uh, where we felt that they were probably a little too wild, even for Wild Wild West. What's the point of what's the, what's the point of picking variation play, one two three if you can just make your own custom? Like I'm fine with them adding custom variations. It can be good, but not having the vast majority of set variations just seems kind of pointless. Then, right? This is exciting to me. Be, There'll be a little call out if you try to equip it. It'll say. Uh, I I created a combo back in the day with variations, what? Uh, which I, which we can we talked about it earlier. We cannot remember the name of it with with Kano, where you use snake bite and command grab. I had a name for this combo in one of the early combat casts. I used to say it all the time, and I can't remember it. So please, tweet me, remind me of what that was called. I'll be doing that very. Soon. The, the, what sucks though so is question, this isn't gonna. Now, this isn't going to help Devora at all. Melina. Can I get rid of her run and replace that with the ball? Yes, which I actually think is probably going to be a pretty popular thing. That's what I've been doing. Is What's the point of picking a variation, then? Just make your own custom shit! And then changing out one or two things. Like, right. Jade, her, her variation one, I actually the zoning one, I actually really like. But I like to remove uh, upward razor ring and put in amplifying the double kick like i'm fine with customs i'm fine with customs but it just makes the whole having a one variation one two three it just makes it pointless just want to quickly use it so if you if they want customs in the game that's fine that's fine with me what sucks though is i don't feel like it's going to help devora at all because 
Even Widow's of Kiss ideas. with Deadly Swarm is the way I want to play Devora, so, so League, I can make it's not going to do anything. But yeah, Noob Saibot's going to be way better. Right Cassie with, Cage, with she's going to be so much right. better now too. Oh my god, okay. Awesome. Uh, so that, I mean, that, that's... New Cybot is definitely going to be way to better. Balance, like, that's a big thing. Get rid of that we, piece of shit ghost ball. In my opinion, this is the biggest potential meta shift we've introduced in Mortal Kombat 11. I have absolutely no idea what's going to go on. I have probably in any, of, in any of our games, I would say. Probably the biggest meta shift in any I, of our games. That's probably actually not an outrageous... Uh, you could pitch me... Frost broke-ass sure. move. Have... Unless they ban it. Unless they ban it. <laughs> we'll talk afterwards. I got a PowerPoint for you. We'll talk about it. Uh, so let's now discuss... You, you, we were talking earlier about some system stuff. Yes. So we've taken a look at pretty much most of the gameplay systems and made some tweaks that I think are pretty exciting. The first one I'd like to talk about is we've adjusted the hit regions, like the hurt box, on crouching characters. And Have this you should help with a lot of inconsistencies and moves going over someone when they're crouching, like mids not hitting, stuff like that. If you get like rid that. of Ghost Ball, no more Murs. Don't worry, there's plenty the of, of Murs to be had. The other thing across the cast is we've taken a look at the down pokes, down threes, and down ones. And Most characters have had them adjusted. Some have more recovery, some have less. Like Aaron Blacks, for example, now have more recovery on blocks. So you can kind of check him with one of your fast mids if you think he's going to mash them. And that's something where when the patch notes come out, you guys can absolutely go. It's going to be like Christmas. Oh, like, I would expect a lot of you to just be sitting there F5ing, waiting for it, and then as soon as it's there, make someone needs to make a spreadsheet for all the changes and just go, go crazy. So that's pretty and, exciting. And, and, how about you give us how, the patch like, notes a lot of those now? Too, like, they, they differentiate between characters. So we're not going to go through you know character by yeah. character, obviously. Another thing is hop attacks are now immune to down ones until they are done and are recovering. So that's another way that you can beat bow pokes if someone's spamming them. You're kind of taking a risk. It's not hop attacks are immune? Wrong, it'll just flat out beat To them. down ones? Play. That's a good way you can do it. Immune. Another thing that's kind of neat and it's going to improve the pacing of the game, make it a little bit faster, is get up animations are now adjusted to be a couple of frames faster. Four, I believe. So when you get knocked down, you'll basically get up faster. You have similar options, but it'll just be quicker. You are on the ground uh, for less amount of time. And that also goes with what we talked about last time, where get up animation, the delayed wake up, is now just one timing. There's not short and long. It's just kind of a middle ground, and there's a little animation for it, too. Sianda and Alberto, thanks for the likes. And... Uh, I think one last thing I'd like to talk about is a change to Fatal Blows. Two things, actually. They, no, across the back. board, a lot of them, I think, have more, or sorry, less pushback on the block, especially mm -hmm. like in the corner situations and stuff like that, to make them a little bit easier to punish on block. Okay. And then a second thing, which is very interesting, it's a new mechanic that some moves, I'm liking this new we've stuff. expanded the window for a flawless block you'll actually have six frames to follow block a move, and that applies to every fatal blow. So the idea would be, if you know it's coming and you're ready for it, it will be significantly easier to follow this block, and then you get punished. And this will also apply to other moves, which I guess we can just go straight into that, unless you guys have some thoughts on these changes. What? Uh, you know, no, you know, like, no, I don't. Uh, I think I'm really excited. There's a lot of these things we've heard about, you know, from the community, you know, we've, we, we do listen to those things um, and, and sort of take our own direction on how we want to change the game in, in those sort of ways. And these were the systems that we kind of wanted to, to, to look at right now. And I think that a lot of people will be happy with these things. Right. There's always, a, you're right. We do like to look at feedback. Our design team is so watching streams are they making and the looking at internal results yeah. and looking no. at our internal data. We actually have a vast amount of that. Like, our, our lead designer can actually see the like matchup numbers of just real results and all that. So if you're like, oh my god, like Jax, he seven threes this character, we can actually see. No, he doesn't. No, we have that data. No, yeah, <laughs> you're exaggerating. He ain't That's one of my him. favorite. One of my favorite things to do is to go to he Paul's office it. and just see like the matchups of okay, oh, yeah. Jade, okay, Jade, okay, Jade, oh, okay. It's it's great. Yes. Um, but what I was going to say is there's also a balancing act with, first you look at what is everyone, you know, talking about? Who's good? Who's bad? Who, you know, 
then you have to kind of parse out, well, what are the players not adjusting to yet? And then maybe what's harder to do with than we expected? But then the really tricky part, and that's where the design team really has to uh, think about it, is what do you do to change it? Because it's it's easy to say, hey, this move's too strong. And it's like, well, we also don't want it to be bad. So it's a whole thing. My whole point is I would is, say yes, don't do jump the gun, uh, veteran. Not at least give it a chance. Anyway, but <laughs> it, it, it really might not be it, as bad it, as you think. Your voice does get through, even though you don't necessarily get a reply on Twitter. Just don't uh, actually, to me. Give it a chance, guys. Give it a chance. <laughs> uh, That's all I can say. Uh, awesome. Give it a chance so a couple, before you guys make videos we want to show a decision to kind of on anything. A couple, there's only like two. Give it a chance. Again, all the characters have some some stuff in their list. We're not going to go through a lot of all of that today, um, but we will show a couple things right now. Uh, who do you want to start with? What do I have here? Let's start with Jackie. Jackie. Oh. So, Jackie actually has this. Uh, enhanced follow block that you will for a leap. If you see that she's leaping, you can follow block it much easier now. It's let me put it this way. You kinda gotta be ready for it, but it's easy enough. I can do it. And as we've established, I'm an old and I am s I haven't been good at games in like five years now and I can do it. So that's a really good barometer. And when you follow block you can't cancel, so that means she can't get her pressure. Now of course, if you're sitting there waiting to fall this block, she's going to get her pressure going in other ways. She can dash up or whatever. So it's not like you literally just, she can't move anymore. But if you're ready for it and you're really sure she's going to leap, it's a really great option to deal with it. And the second thing we showed there is her dash punch is now punishable on block. It's negative 12, so you can get a good jab punish. Thank you. Beat her off. We know that video Thank you. Went really how about her 1-1? One so one? Can something happen to that? Some of these videos are very short, but this, this is how we... Can't show it live like we used to, so this is how we're going to do it. Well, Honeybee, Ketchup, uh, and Mustard, etc. will be doing a 45-minute video about that 20-second clip. Will I? Right. I don't know. Yeah. If I'm, I'm here. here. And I'm, but thank you for the shout-out. And I'm here for it. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at uh, Raiden. Raiden, yeah. So Raiden got some small changes. This move is now actually advantage on block and an incident overhead, and it's really quick. So it's really awesome for mixing up with his back one pressure. And then the super bolt move is now safe if you charge it for just slightly. And the main reason I wanted to show this is that it's an example of some of the tournament moves that you might want to use in your custom variations are can be quite a bit different. Uh, to get ready for the custom I got variation. two shout outs today. That's crazy. It's like not even my birthday. 11 days, Derek be, says. Uh, 11 days. We cannot wait to see you playing the game. Thank you so much for joining us for all of these combat casts. Thank you to the team behind behind the cameras and everything helping us. It's been a real joy to be able to bring these to you, and we will see you next time.